We got the jumbos there. Check that one out, bam. Wow. Oh God, look at that one. Right there's another one. There's two, three, four. <laughs> That's why you gotta get a lot of hands when you come out shrimping. I already got two shrimping videos, but we're just showing you because we know how to catch some shrimp. So we're just gonna show you that these techniques work, all right? We got a nice muddy bottom and the next two some oysters. It's high tide now too. I mean high tide or low tide, you're still gonna catch some low tide even better though. But we're just gonna keep casting them out here and we're gonna catch a lot of shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> We got the jumbos there. Check that one out, bam. Wow. Oh, get that one, get that one. Uncle Eddie, you're slacking over here, man. Let the first truck go. Three, I didn't, I didn't know you were near you open up the net yet. Oh, God, look at that one. Hey, there's another one. There's two, three, four. <laughs> That's why you gotta get a lot of hands when you come out shrimping, man. These shrimps start jumping, it's, it's a whole thing. Oh, bam, bam, bam. Um, yeah, he, oh, man, he did the dash. He did the monster dash. Check this out. This is where I threw it, right here, right? Next to there. What, what's there, y'all? What's there? Oysters. They're hiding out next to the oysters. Whoa. And hey, what did, what did I say, guys? What did I say? Bam. Oh my gosh, you got like 11 in there. Boom, boom, boom. Look at them all, it's a shrimp fest. Look at them all, everybody's grabbing them. It's like there's dollars on the ground. Here we go. Oh yeah. Here's one. Here comes a few more. All right, here's one. This one's a little further out, so we'll see. Wow. Right, still got some. Now we're getting smart. That room's fun. <laughs> that room's fun. <laughs> so since we found them, we're just going to keep hitting that same spot until they run dry. Try to find the sign. Oh yeah, you got some. Big boy. Big. Couple big ones. <laughs> oh yeah. Those things. Look at the jump. Oh man, that's a nice critter right there. It's got nice Ooh. yellow eyes. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> if you guys want to keep learning grade A information about how to catch more fish, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn those notifications on. We have a wide variety of videos covering multiple species, how to catch them, great tips and tricks so you can catch more fish. Also, swing by our website to get more in-depth information on the gear and tackle that we love to use when going out fishing. All right, let's get back to catching some more shrimp. Get that, see this is important, you know, you have a little helper. That's me, Boom. I'm the helper. Um, another thing with the shrimp. They, they can sneak through these holes super quick, so pull it in as fast as possible, and you'll get more shrimp. Ready? Got one, and, oh, two, at least three. Three, four, five, six, and a mullet. That guy almost already snuck out. See, yeah. Oh, we do it quick. Live shrimp, live little bit of shrimp. Underneath the carapace. And I just started moving it in very slowly. You hit it. Hook 
comes out nice and easy because that's the only way I catch him. I got some sharp gills and he's not going to go if he does that to me again. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't want to leave. Better head out to deeper water. There you go. <laughs> and he's gone over to the oyster shell. There we go for a little fella on a light tackle. All right. Time to catch another you one. Want to, you want to show them how you rig them up? How you do it? Yeah, I just hook them to the carapace. Underneath here. Steady enough. Go right underneath that hard part and come up the top. All right, the other alternate ways to go through the whole body, but I got a small, small cut. You got a little split shot on there too? A little split shot, uh, not right next to it. I got, a, uh, I got a swivel hook about a foot and a half from where the shrimp is at. Split shot to get it down a little bit closer to the bottom. And I put some little uh, orange beads on here to attract attention for those fish that uh, are attracted to things like that. And the shrimp is hooked through the carapace, the hook coming out the top. And a lot of times the fish will, uh, hopefully you'll either catch a fish or they'll take your shrimp like that. <laughs> Every one or the other, I don't think there's any in between on using live shrimp. <laughs> but they're fun. Awesome. Tide. We're here at high tide. Low tide just puts them all together. And we usually look for where it kind of drops off from shallow to deep. That's where we find most of them. Jack's hammering them. We got a nice little shrimp on this size. Good little bait size. And they are good bait. They've been catching everything from red drum, Spanish mackerel, speckled yeah. trout. Boom. Fish love them. Come out to the sound for like sandy, muddy bottom. That's where you're generally going to find them, especially in the grass. You'll see them just kind of boiling on the surface. It's like a bunch of little bubbles, and that's where you want to cast. Or if you don't see any bubbles, cast near oyster shells. We're in. Uncle yeah, Andy's on the, on the prowl. Right there. 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 Oh, and someone to trail behind and pick up the minnows. This is always good bait to go grab, and we love putting the stuff out in the surf. We got some other videos of us catching some monster fish in the surf with this fresh caught shrimp. If you can get it out live out there, the fish, they barely see it out there in the ocean, so they just gobble it up, bam, 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 bam. Nothing beats the live shrimp. Every type of fish eats it, don't matter. Like we said, Spanish, even fish you do anything. Spanish blues, they all eat it. So go get some live shrimp. You'll be catching all sorts in the short shift fish. Pompano, trout, whiting, flounder. The works, baby. There you go. That is how you catch some shrimp. Live shrimp, that is. You got muddy, hard mud bottoms near some grass or oysters or like a creek, a creek outpouring into a bigger body of water. They like hanging out there. Those are always great spots to fish for the shrimp. Um, you use a nice mesh cast net uh, i believe it's nylon and pull those cast nets in quick once you locate them keep it in the hole until it runs dry then move to different spots now we're going to go over to the ocean and fish these live shrimp go check out one of our other videos on how to do that we're going to show you the rigs you know where to cast in the surf so you can be the most productive fisherman with this nice live bait if you like the video Go check out some more, baby. And go comment, subscribe, and like it, man. We need it. We need it. We need you. <laughs> For those of you who already done it, we thank you so much. Stay tuned. Booyah. Yeah, they're good shark, baby. That's about the only thing that they're good for, and this is about the only fish that I have tried and could not eat. <laughs> I, I tried them in northern Florida on the Gulf Coast. I used to fish for them right alongside pier pilings and my friends who were going out shark fishing said live pinfish are the best bait for sharks bullhead sharks is what we're fishing for and I would catch a bunch of these and they would all kind of stand around because they didn't want to have anything to do with these little fish 
I decided one time, I'd better, you know, take them home and see what they taste like. And they are gosh awful. <laughs> <laughs> Won't do that again. <laughs> uh, no, the sharks can have as many as they want. Uh, he can go back to the camp. Oh, looks like he's got buddies <laughs> And he's off.